Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick RAC004 titled Splitting and Painting Faces. The purpose of the Tip and Trick is to enhance your skills and share with you solutions to problems that other users experience. Our tips and tricks are created from the top 30 support calls logged with our support desk. If you require more information on our support desk, then please contact Customer Services on 01784 419911 or email customer.services at catline.co.uk. All of our tips and tricks can be found on our website, which is www.cadline.co.uk. Please remember that we are issuing tips and tricks for all Autodesk products, as well as the one you're about to watch. Okay, so within this tip and trick, we're gonna have a look at splitting the faces of the wall, not necessarily structurally, but in terms of being able to put a render on the outside of the building, or for example, some paintwork. So firstly, we're gonna look at splitting the faces. So firstly, we're gonna split this face here of this wall just between the two windows. So if I now click on this wall, I'm now gonna go up to my split faces button, and that will now highlight the wall that I need to, or the face that I need to split. So I'm just gonna highlight which one it is. I can obviously go around and select any of these. So I'm just gonna select this wall now, and now that will highlight it for me. So I'm gonna go into a view that I can see this more clearly. So that's gonna be in my south elevation. Now, this takes us into a sketch mode where normally we'd see some pink lines. In this instance, we can see orange lines which show us the current outline of our wall. If I just click on lines, I'm now gonna draw the lines where I want to split the face of this wall. So from that point there to that point there. Obviously you can see here that basically I've joined up to the orange lines to create a foot or form a loop as such. I now click finish sketch. And now if I look at that in 3D, there you go, there is my split face. So if I click on that, I'm now able to change this. So this is where we now look at the paint face tool. So for example, here the brickwork is the same in this area here and this area here. We want to differentiate that. So if I just go up to my paint pot here and click paint, the list of my materials for my materials library is now evident. So I can now choose whichever material I want and paint it that color. So I'm just gonna click any material here just to make it different. Hover over the face and I'm just now gonna click. I now click and that now changes the material on that face. Now structurally, we don't have any structural element to this. It literally is just a paint finish on top. So we can carry that one step forward and just take a look at this end face here and this end face here. Now at the moment it's just a default material as it is part of the sectioning of the wall. So what I'm going to do, again, click on my paint pot and I'm now just going to scroll down and find some masonry brickwork. There you go, in there. I'm now just going to hover over the face and click. And again the same this side. And I just click like so. Now again, to us, to the, to the naked eye, you'd see that and think that the whole wall was made of brick solid. In this instance though, however, again, it is literally just paint on the top of the surface. Now the difference in this, if I just show you the renders that can be produced from this, firstly, just looking at the brick face that we currently have here, and we also have the bare wall here, literally just shows us as it would be seen if we hadn't made those changes. If I go to the next render, we can now see where I've painted the face it would appear as if we have a solid brick wall here and as if we have a rendered finish here. And that is how you can split and paint faces within Revit. Thank you.